Hi, I'm Zed and welcome back. Today we will be talking about the common house plant golden pothos and how staking them leads to bigger leaves and stuff like that. So to start, golden pothos was originally from the Solomon Islands where the leaves can get up from one foot to three feet in length and have multiple splits. And the goal of making a rope pole thing is to imitate them growing up a tree so the leaves get bigger and they grow faster they grow faster and get the splits quicker yeah than just growing up a wall um, I'll be showing you how to make one of these with household objects sorry that these are wet I just spilled water everywhere so you'll need six bamboo skewers some floral wire um, pliers slash wire cutters and thick macrame cord or any other kind of like rope stuff will work. So you're going to want to separate the six bamboo skewers into three into two groups of threes. Put all the points facing the same direction, like so, and take that and then put them each halfway down with the points facing inwards. Cut yourself a length of floral wire. It doesn't have to be super long or anything. Just cut a length of floral wire, like so. Take your group of bamboo skewers and just wrap them with the floral wire to bind them together. I'm going to be sending the nicer one of the two that I'm making to my aunt to stake up the pothos I'm giving her so she can get huge leaves too. Hope she likes it. And then take your macrame cord and tie it to the bottom where you want your bottom of your stake to be. You don't need to cut it yet because you can cut it later. Don't drop it like I did. <laughs> and then just put a knot right there. So you want to leave a stake so it can sit in the, in the soil substrate, right? And then you just want to wrap it like so. Hold the knot and then wrap the end. It gets a little hard because you have to like move the whole stake. You want to wrap it pretty tightly. I'm unwrapping it because my knot's not secure enough. So I'm just going to make it tighter. Okay, now I'm going to wrap. And you just wrap. Make sure it's wrapped tightly. It doesn't need to look perfect, but it just needs to be tightly wrapped. Be careful not to poke yourself on bamboo the bamboo skewers if you are younger than 14 do this with adult supervision please and have your parents cut everything like the wire and the bamboo skewers and stuff don't do this by yourself and then when you get to the wire area it's going to get a little thicker because of the wire and the excess bamboo skewers and it's it'll be fine it doesn't need to be perfect it just needs to be good if you want, you can buy a moss pole on Amazon. I'll link one in the description down below. And it's cool if you see the floral wire a little bit because it's thick. As long as you just wrap it all nice and tightly, you're all good. See, we're almost done. It's not hard at all. The hard part comes when you need to knot it at the top. So you're going to want to leave um, some bamboo skewer at the top, which you can cut off later. 
now you can cut go ahead and cut your cord and make it into a loop like you can take the top one off if you want to make it into a loop stick it through you can use the pliers to grab it if it's being difficult <laughs> the pliers are being difficult now like so and then just give it a pull make sure the knots all nice and tight and now you have your rope pull you can cut the extra cord off like so not too far so the knot doesn't untie like so and now you have a rope pull you can always trim the top and bottom off if you want to and now let's repot the pothos. So I'm gonna actually send this one to my aunt instead of this one. So take your mature, mature-ish, it doesn't really matter, pothos cuttings, stick them in how you want them, how you're gonna want them. Now it's gonna be the easiest to wrap. Take your substrate, I'm just using mushroom compost, and start to fill in, like so around the growth, the roots and stuff. And fill the pot to where you feel comfortable, where it'll stick. Like this. And it will be droopy, but we're gonna put it, so then take your moss pole, your pole, it's not a moss pole, it's a rope pole. Stick it in the soil, like this. So it's in there nice and good. And then wrap the plant around it. It's hard to wrap around it because it's so much the vine is so like that. See so and wrap around it. And then take extra the extra floral wire from earlier and just cut some pieces off. Moderately sized pieces off like so. And then you can pin it on with that, or you can use other kind of rope if you don't want to use wire. Just take it and pin it like this. And now it's pinned onto the pole. The pole is a little thing, but it'll get it'll get more in there once the plant grows in more. This one doesn't, I'm going to pin this one anyways, just so it looks better. Just so it stays on better, I don't want it to fall off. And make sure once you finish this, you give the plant a, a thorough water and maybe an extra top dressing of soil to help it stay in better. See? And we're done. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good rest of your day. Please like this video. Subscribe to my channel. Oh, my Instagram is in the link down in the description, too. You should totally follow that. Bye.